Hi everyone, this is Jason. Today we're going to make homemade Play-Doh. And here's the ingredients you need for your homemade Play-Doh. You're going to need one cup of white flour, half a cup of salt, two tablespoons cream of tartar, which you'll find in your spice aisle in your grocery store. You need a tablespoon of oil, a cup of water, and either food coloring or you can use Kool-Aid like I have here. The cool thing about Kool-Aid is your Play-Doh is going to smell pretty good you know it's not gonna smell like play-doh so anyway let's get started okay we have all the ingredients in a saucepan um, except for the food coloring or the kool-aid whatever you're gonna use so put those in a saucepan and we're gonna mix them and we're gonna put this on a low to medium heat and uh, cook this until it uh, firms up okay here's our play-doh we got everything mixed up and we're heating this over a medium heat and uh, you got to stir this constantly and um, you're going to want to heat this for about five minutes it's going to get really tough and hard to stir as it actually what you're doing is just cooking the water out of this and it's going to toughen up so we'll just continue to cook this stirring constantly okay so as you can see my play-doh is getting pretty lumpy it's pretty tough to stir um, so that's pretty much ready now we're going to take it off the heat and let it cool and then at that point we can add our food coloring or Kool-Aid in. So we'll go ahead and take this off the heat. So we have our Play-Doh. It's pretty well cooled down. Now we're going to have Jaden, uh, my son, he's going to go ahead and you know, tear open that Kool-Aid pack. We're going to pour it on top of the Play-Doh and then uh, just start folding it up, mixing it and dump that on there. There you go. Okay, now kind of fold it over and just keep on folding it up, mix it up. There you go, keep on just squish it and fold it, squish it. There we go. It smells good. Okay, now the Play Doh is, yeah, we're continuing to mix it up, and as you can guess, it smells pretty good. It's actually black cherry Play Doh, no sugar, so. Mix it up, boys. Keep mixing it. I think I'm going to have to wash my hands. And we're continuing to mix. I went ahead and added a second pack just to get more color. And uh, as you can see, it's kind of purple. Purplish. Kind of a dull purple. And like I said, you can also use regular food coloring. We did that in the past, but it can kind of stain your countertops and your fingers, but and it doesn't smell as good as using Kool-Aid, so I thought this was kind of neat. Okay, I thought I'd throw in some Play-Doh we made before. Uh, this is probably two months ago. And uh, same recipe, except for we used food coloring. We got yellow, red, and green. Um, and as you can see, the boys are mixing up. That's kind of a purple. Uh, we got that from Black Cherry Kool-Aid. Um, so anyway, that's what that looks like. Um, we've been keeping that Play-Doh in the fridge. It's probably been there, like I said, two months. So I don't think you need to keep it in the fridge, but we have. So anyway, thanks for watching. Have fun with your Play-Doh. And uh, thanks again. Goodbye. Bye.